Hi everyone, it's Tammy and it's Friday. I received my Outlook um, package in the mail, so I thought I'd share that with you. I got the uh, the Lorac uh, Rockin' Red Hot. This is a limited edition, and it's these glosses here. You get two, four, six, eight of them. The only ones, I have uh, quickly swatched them on my lips, and the only one that really has any payoff is this one here and these three here. The rest of them are basically, basically just um, glosses that you could put over, um, you know, the corresponding lip colors. So um, if you do want me to do swatches of these, I will. Um, I can show you the ones that um, I feel are actually wearable. Um, this one, I have to use the glass because I cannot see these things. This is called Groupie. They're really pretty. They got the like the little um, shiny little diamond things on them. Okay, so I'll have to look in the mirror here. So this is a nice kind of nude pink. Now I would probably get the true color if my lips um, had um, concealer on them because my lips are very pigmented. But this is a really pretty color that's wearable without a lipstick. So that was one of them. Um, I believe this one as well was wearable. Uh, and this one is called Electric. This is the color. And it is a, a true nude color. And that's that color. So again, this could be wearing, worn alone or on top of another one, another lipstick. And then this one I think was fairly close to the same. Um, this one is called Amp. And this is a bit more on the... Um, nude brown side. And that's that one. Okay, and then the other one that I think is wearable is the uh, Encore. It's this um, red, but once it's on, I don't know, I find it more of a orangey Well, I guess a very light red. I'm just trying to see if it's buildable. And that's that color. They are pretty and um, they're comfortable. They are a great gloss. And uh, like I said, the rest of them you can wear over um, other lipsticks, and um, I'm sure it would give a very nice effect. So that's what it looks like when it's packaged. Okay, now the next thing I got <laughs> was this um, Lorac face self tantalizer. This is a self tanning cream. There's a lot of benefits to this cream and I will read them to you. It says, um, get a gorgeous red carpet tan instantly. Lorac's face self tantalizer bronzing gradual tan self tan contains DHA to safely build natural rich color and is infused with ingredients of avocado, aloe vera, olive oil, green tea extract, and antioxidants A and C and E to help keep skin looking healthy, radiant, and bronzed. To play it safe with a sexy, better than natural red carpet glow with Lorac's Face Self Tantalizer. Now, um, they say to apply this to a clean face. <clears throat> it doesn't say anything about washing your hands after using it. I did 
did look at that, but my hands were quite orange. Um, okay, I applied some just when I got it like 15 minutes ago. And I'm going to do another one. I want to see what happens. So it says take a dime size amount, which I will. Okay, and I'm going to rub that together. And right away, you see the color? So to me, it's not a gradual tan. You're getting a tan right away. It says to rub it in really good. I don't know, the color looks pretty scary, but I'll see what happens when I put my foundation on. It's not too bad after it's rubbed in. The color is not bad. Can you see that? Okay, and this is what my hands look like after. So I just rub them on a towel and it comes off. It's not bad when it's rubbed in and it's not that orange. It does turn more of a suntan look. So that is the other thing that I got. So I'm going to do a review on this. I'm also getting uh, the Million Dollar Tan from uh, Patty. That should be in this, well, I don't know, this week or Monday. So that's that. And then I got the Lorac uh, Coco Sin Cream Compact. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And this is in Cream Foundation in medium beige, so it's CR5. This is what the packaging looks like. Don't mind my nails, I have to do them again. Okay. And that's the color. It's very light. And it says to apply it with the sponge which I do not think I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to use my Sigma F80. Because I have this dark going on here and then I'm probably going to go in and this is going to be really light. Well, it's not bad. With that self-tanner, all you'd have to do is probably put on a blush, and that's about it. I'm going to see what it's like with this. No, I don't like this. That just pulls everything off. Actually, when I ordered this, I thought it was a powder foundation from The Rock, but I guess I didn't see it was cream. The coverage isn't bad.
you can see that good. It doesn't feel really sticky or tacky or anything. But I think I would set this. Okay, I'm going to try with a little bit of my cream blush. So this blends well without having set it first. Then what I'll do is I will set it with a little bit of my Essence Bronzer, see what that does. Something I tried last night, um, I had taken my makeup off and I wanted to see what this would do. This is the uh, Balance and Brighten Foundation in Tan, and this is from uh, Laura Geller, and it was actually very pretty. So I'm going to try that. got a black fly bite right here and it still hasn't healed. This of course has a bit of a glow to it. It's comfortable. done my hair yet. But I still have the curls from yesterday and I slept on that. Yeah. I need to flat iron. Okay, so that was the um foundation. I do like it. I just wish it would have been darker. And I will keep you updated on this, how this works. I will continue to apply it. <coughs> and I do like the formulations of these. I just wish they were more pigmented. But they're usable. Okay. Now... wrote down some stuff last night that I wanted to talk to you about it. Oh, I sanitized my makeup last night with my um, alcohol spray. Um, I don't know where I put it. But all I did was open up anything, any product, just spray it with the alcohol, leave it open to dry. Um, the same with the ends of any of your pencils. Spray them with the alcohol, let them dry. doesn't take long. And it um, keeps them sanitized. Um, yeah.
Yeah, the Laura Mercier, this one I showed you. This was something I wanted to try for you. Oh, Makeup Geek um, launched her new blushes, and there are four shimmers and nine mattes, and I was looking at them, and they are beautiful. The colors are beautiful. Um, she does have a dupe for the MAC, orga um, I believe it's not MAC, or one of the Orgasm one. Um, they're very pretty. They're very nice pinks. Um, they look extremely, they look matte, but yet very um, soft, not powdery. So I'm anxious. They're supposed to be launched, I believe, on Monday on her site. Um, oh, if anybody's tried her make Makeup Geeks, geeks brushes. Let me know how you like them. Um, I'm really interested about uh, maybe getting a few of those. Okay. Now, some of you have got back to me about my eyebrows and Patty had a good idea. She said to take some concealer and conceal the part that I was going to um, pluck and then take my pencil and, you know, try and do what it was that I wanted, I want to do. I did do that. I like it very much, so this is going. Um, I can't see me not liking it because this is definitely bringing the eye down. So I have to get rid of that, and I have to find... I know the Anastasia pencil is supposed to be very good. I am going to need one that is um, more like an eyeliner um, to draw. Um, not so much the waxy, like I know they probably all are made with wax, but like these, I, I can't, I can't define the brow as, as well as I would like. Um, so anyway, you guys give me some hints on that. I'm going to have to use this one today. That's all I have. So, um, I'll straighten my bangs and then we'll go ahead and, um, pluck those brows. Side again. I suppose I'll just finish the rest of my face while. doing this. These are the NYX um, Extreme Lip Cream. This one is in uh, Nude Peach Fuzz. I prefer these then to the um, NYX Butter Glosses. I just find they stay better and they're matte and I like that. Okay. So I'm not going to do my eyes because I'm going to be plucking them. So let's go. We want to get rid of these at the bottom. These are extremely pointy. You have to be careful. So I'm going to go up here and then down. 
so I'm just going to take just a little more. You can see how taking this off alone has lifted my eye and how this has made my eye droop. That's without the, the eyebrow pencil. I'm just going to put it on the magnify. They're sharp, I just cut myself. Well, one of them's bent and it's cutting my eye. my other one, but I'm almost done. If I'm bleeding all over, you'll know why. This one's a bit red because I cut it a bit. Okay. So I have groomed them. I think this one's done. Yep. Okay. That one's done, so I'm going to have to use a different color.
use the powder. So this is what I'm going to start with. We'll see what happens. See, with the pencil, I'd be able to make that peak easier at the top. But we'll have to work with the powder for now until I get one. So now instead of going down, I'm going across and up. See how that lifted it? I'm just going to have to work with it, figure it out. So at least that's going across now and not round. I just need the proper pencil to do it. Anyway, I'll get the hang of it, but I like it better, I do, rather than it going in a circle. It's, it's got some, some lift here, and I can, I can extend this out more once I, I learn how to do the peak and then come across, and I will do that. I can do it better with a pencil rather than the um, powder. So anyways, guys, that's about it. Um, I didn't really want to get it, do a get ready with me. Just wanted to show you the new products that I got in. And again, I should be getting some new ones in on uh, Monday or Tuesday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Love you.